Section 16.2, Bronsted-Lowry Acids and Bases. The erroneous concept of acids and bases, while useful, has limitations. For one thing, it restricted to aqueous solutions. In 1923, the Danish chemist Johannes Bronsted and the English chemist Thomas Lowry independently proposed a more general definition of acids and bases. Their concept is based on the fact that acid-base reactions involve the transfer of protons or hydrogen ions from one substance to another. The hydrogen ion in water. In equation 16.1, hydrogen chloride is shown ionizing in water to form hi uh, hydrogen ions. A hydrogen ion is simply a proton with no surrounding valence electron. This small, positively charged particle interacts strongly with the non-bonding electron pairs of water molecules to form hydrated hydrogen ions. For example, the interaction of a photon with one water molecule forms the hydronium ion. The formation of hydronium ions is one of the most comp one of the complex features in the interaction of hydrogen ion with liquid water. In fact, the hydronium ion can form hydrogen bonds to additional water molecules to generate larger clusters of, de of hydrate, hydrated hydrogen ions, such as H5O2 and H9O4. Chemists use hydrogen ions and hydronium ions interchangeably to represent the same thing, namely the hydrated proton, that are responsible for the characteristic properties of aqueous solutions of acids. We often use the hydrogen ion for simplicity and convenience, as we did in, in equation 16.1. The hydronium ion, however, more closely represents reality. Figure 16.1, hydrated hydronium ions. Lewis structures and molecular models for H5O2 plus and H9O4 plus, there is good experimental evidence for the existence of both of these species. Proton transfer reactions. When we closely examine the reaction that occurs when hydro hydrogen chloride or hydrochloric acid dissolves in water, we find that the hydrochloric acid molecule actually transfers a hydrogen ion, which is a proton, to water molecule as depicted in figure 16.2. Figure 16.2, a proton transfer reaction. When a proton is transferred from hydrochloric acid to water, Hydrochloric acid acts as the Bronsted-Lowry acid, and water acts as the Bronsted-Lowry base. Thus, we can represent the reaction as occurring between a hydrochloric acid molecule and a water molecule to form hydronium and chloride ions. Hydrochloric acid gas plus liquid water yields a hydronium ion aqueous plus a chlorine ion aqueous. The polar water molecule promotes the ionization of acids in water solution by accepting the proton to form hydronium ions. Bronsted and Lowry proposed definitions of acids and bases in terms of their ability to transfer protons. An acid is a substance, which is a molecule or an ion, that donates a proton to another substance. A base is a substance that accepts a proton. Thus, when hydrochloric acid dissolves in water, equation 16.3, it acts as a Bronsted-Lowry acid. It donates a proton to water, and water acts as a proton, a Bronsted-Lowry base. It accepts a proton from hydrochloric acid. Because the emphasis in the Bronsted-Lowry concept is on proton transfer, the concept also applies to reactions that do not occur in aqueous solution. In the reaction between hydrochloric acid and ammonia, for example, a proton is transferred from the acid, hydrochloric acid, to the base, ammonia. This reaction can occur in the gas phase. The hazy film that forms on the windows of general chemistry labs and on glassware is the lab is the largely the uh, ammonium chloride formed by the gas phase reaction of hydrochloric acid and ammonia. Figure 16.3, a gas phase acid-base reaction. The hydrochloric acid gas escaping from concentrated hydrochloric acid and the ammonia escaping from aqueous ammonia, here labeled ammonium hydroxide, combine to form a white fog of ammonium chloride. Let's consider another example that compares the relationship between the Arrhenius definitions and the Bronsted-Lowry definitions of acids and bases. An aqueous solution of ammonia 
in which the following occurs. Ammonia plus water yields ammonium plus hydroxide. Ammonia is an Arrhenius base because, it's, because adding it to water leads to an increase in the concentration of hydroxide. It's a bronsted lowry base because it accepts a proton from water. The water molecule in equation 16.5 acts as a bronsted lowry acid because it donates a proton to the ammonia molecule. An acid and a base always work together to transfer a proton. In other words, a substance can function as an acid only if another substance simultaneously behaves as a base. To be a bronsted lowry acid, a molecule or ion must have a hydrogen ion atom that it can lose as a hydrogen uh, as a proton ion, hydrogen ion. To be a bronsted lowry base, a molecule or an ion must have a non-bonding pair of electrons that it can use to bind the hydrogen ion. Some substances can act as an acid in one reaction and a base in another. For example, water is a bronsted lowry base in its reaction with hydrochloric acid and a bronsted lowry acid in its reaction with ammonia. A substance that's capable of acting as either an acid or a base is called amphiprotic. An amphiprotic substance acts as a base when combined with something more strongly acidic than itself and as an acid when combined with something more strongly basic than itself. Conjugate acid-base pairs. In any acid-base equilibrium, both the forward reaction to the right and the reverse reaction to the left involve proton transfers. For example, consider the reaction of an acid, which we will denote as HX with water. An acid plus water yields the conjugate base plus hydronium. In the forward reaction, HS do donates a proton to water. Therefore, HX is the bronsted lowry acid, and water is the bronsted lowry base. In the reverse reaction, the hydronium ion donates a proton to, th to the conjugate base ion. So hydronium is the acid, and X minus is the base. When the acid HX donates a proton, it leaves behind a substance, X minus, which can act as a base. Likewise, when water acts as a base, it generates hydronium, which is, can act as an acid. An acid and a base, such as, such as HX and X minus, that differ only in the presence or absence of a proton, is called a conjugate acid-base pair. The word conjugate means joined together as a pair. Every acid has a conjugate base formed by removing a proton from the acid. For example, hydroxide is the conjugate base of water, and X, X minus is the conjugate base of HX. Similarly, every base has an associated with it a conjugate acid formed by adding a proton to the base. Thus, hydronium is the conjugate acid of water, and HX is the conjugate acid of X minus. In any acid-base proton transfer reaction, we can identify two sets of conjugate acid-base pairs. For example, consider the reaction between nitrous acid, acid and water. Nitrous acid joining with water will donate its proton to the water, forming the conjugate acid hydronium and leaving the conjugate base um, NO2 minus. Likewise, for the reaction of ammonia and water, ammonia takes a hydrogen from water, water acting as the acid, and becoming the conjugate acid ammonium, leaving the conjugate base hydroxide. Relative strengths of acids and bases. Some acids are better proton donors than others. Likewise, some bases are better proton acceptors than others. If we arrange acids in order of their ability to donate a proton, we find the more easily a substance gives up a proton, the less easily its conjugate base accepts a proton. Similarly, the more easily a base accepts the proton, the less easily a conjugate acid gives up the proton. In other words, the stronger the acid, the weaker its conjugate base. The stronger the base, the weaker is its conjugate acid. Thus, if we know something about the strength of an acid, or its ability to donate protons, we also know something about the strength of its conjugate base, or its ability to accept protons. 
The inverse relationship between the strengths of acids and the strengths of their conjugate base is illustrated in figure 16.4. Here we have grouped acids and bases into three broad categories based on their behavior in water. 1. A strong acid completely transfers its protons to water, leaving no unassociated uh, molecules in solution. Its conjugate base has a negligible tendency to be protonated to attract protons in aqueous solution. A weak acid only partially dissociates in aqueous solution and therefore exists in the solution as a mixture of acid molecules and their constituent ions. The, con the conjugate base of a weak acid shows a, a slight ability to remove protons from water. The conjugate base of a weak acid is a weak base. The substance of, um, with a negligible acidity, such as uh, methane, contains hydrogen but does not demonstrate any acidic behavior in water. Its conjugate base is a strong base, reacting completely with water, abstra uh, abstracting protons to form hydroxide ions. We can think of proton transfer reactions as being governed by the relative abilities of two bases to attract protons, abstract protons. For example, consider the proton transfer that occurs when an acid, HX, dissolves in water. HX aqueous plus water yields hydronium ions plus X minus. If water, the base in the forward reaction, is stronger than the HX, or the X minus, the conjugate base of the HX, then water will abstract the proton from HX to produce hydronium and X, is, and X minus. As a result, the equilibrium will lie to the right. This describes the behavior of a strong acid in water. For example, when hydrochloric acid dissolves in water, the solution consists almost entirely of hydronium ions and chloride ions with a negligible concentration of hydrochloric ion, uh, molecules. Water is a stronger base than chloride. So water acquires the proton to become a hydron, hydronium ion. When X minus is a stronger base than water, the equilibrium will lie far to the left. This situation occurs when HX is a weak acid. For example, in aqueous solution, acetic acid consists mainly of acetic acid molecules with only relatively few hydroniums and acetate ions. Acetate is a stronger base than water and therefore abstracts the proton from hydronium. From these examples, we conclude of in every acid-base reaction, the position of the equilibrium favors transfers from the proton from the stronger acid to the stronger base to form a weaker acid and a weaker base. As a result, the equilibrium mixture contains more of a weaker acid and weaker base and less of the stronger acid and stronger base.